Hi, I'm Stan from Photoballistic Systems, and what we're going to talk about here is how to set up for the classic milk drop that Dr. Harold Edgerton made famous many years ago. I like repeatability and consistency, and this setup here gives me that. That means I can take photographs of milk drops all day long, and I'm going to get the same consistent results. And the key to that is a chemistry lab barrette, and the barrette's job is to meter the milk drops as it goes through the photo gate, which is consistent of a sensor board and an IR transmitter board. And they set the trigger over here on the MD Basic. The camera shutter speed is set on bulb because we do these photographs at night. If we tried to do them during the daytime, they'd become overexposed and we wouldn't get a good photograph. And the aperture I try to work with is 22 or 32, so we get lots of depth of field and we get nice, clean, sharp photographs. And then, of course, we have the main strobe over here. Its job is to light the subject and stop the subject in motion. Now, in this first photograph that you see here, the milk drop is just above the point of impact. And you can see the drop clearly formed as it's traveling downward toward the plate. This next photograph is the drop as it's just barely making impact with the plate. And if you look closely, you might be able to see a little pre-crown occurring at the base of the drop. And of course, this shot is the classic milk drop that you would get with this type of equipment. Now, a couple things you want to keep in mind. If you want the classic crowning milk drop, you need to have no milk on the plate when you're taking your photographs of the drop on impact. And what I mean by that is every couple of drops, you wipe the plate clean and you take some more pictures. If you don't do that, you're going to get a spire that comes up out of the center, and they look neat too. But if you want the milk drop, you have to wipe the plate clean. If you want really dramatic spires, have a, a, a depth of milk of about a quarter of an inch, and then the spirals will come right up out of the center, and you also get some little droplets that form on that. So with some experimentation and some playing on your part, you too can take these kinds of photographs. I'm Stan Feichel from Photo Ballistic Systems, and thank you.